Hey guys, I'm Brad. And I'm Diana, and we'd like to welcome all new students to the University of Missouri, Kansas City. There are so many great services that students should take advantage of here at UMKC. Right, and the directors that oversee these services are often very busy working behind the scenes. But if you don't know who they are or where they're located, how can you take advantage of these great services? So, who are these great directors? Well, that's going to be our job today. Diana and I are going to go all over campus and introduce you to them. We want your college experience to be an awesome one, and the directors in the student affairs and enrollment management can help. Well, we don't have that much time, so we better get going. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! kick things off in the Office of Admissions, and I'm here with Director W.C. Vance. W.C., what do you do behind the scenes here? Well, we do a lot of things, but I'm the person who had the pleasure of admitting you to UMKC. Awesome! And you had to give advice to any incoming students. What would that be? Well, I want you to work hard for the next four years in the classroom, so I have the pleasure of admitting you guys to graduate school as well. All right, I'm standing here at the International Student Affairs Office with Director Sandy Gold. Sandy, being an international student myself, I know the importance of this office. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yes, this office is in charge of recruiting, admitting, and retaining international yeah. students. Perfect, and if there was a one tip you could give an incoming student, what would that be? I would say make sure that you make friends with some international students in your classes. That way when you go out for spring break, instead of heading to Columbia, Missouri, maybe you're headed to Columbia, the country. I'm at Career Services and with me is Director Greg Hayes. Greg, how can you help UMKC students with the next chapter in their life? Well, thanks for asking, Brad. We are the jobs office on campus, so if you're looking for a work study, yeah. part-time, temporary, summer job, full-time job, come in and see us. All right, and if you could give any tip to encourage students to come here, what would that be? Let's get started on your career right away. Hey guys, I'm here at the University Center with two great directors, Jody Jeffries and Tiffany Williams. Guys, could you just tell me a little bit about what you do at UMKC and what you provide? As the director of the University Center, we provide the basic amenities yeah. necessary for success on the UMKC campus. We're really excited to be opening a brand new student union on campus with additional dining venues, student organization spaces, and places for students to engage with UMKC. And in the Office of Multicultural Student Affairs, we too are excited about the new student union because that's where you can yeah. find us on the Discover floor. In the Office of Multicultural Student Affairs, we're charged with engaging, enhancing, and empowering students about the multicultural student experience here at UMKC. Wow, that's great. And then also, if you could give us one piece of advice to the incoming class, what would you say to them? Immerse yourself into the opportunities of UMKC. Providing new structures and buildings are fantastic, but it's the students who are there that make the difference. And you know, I would say practice the five P's. Proper planning prevents poor performance. As long as you properly plan, you'll prevent poor performance here at UMKC. Welcome home, Ruse. I'm at Dining Services with their director, Jesse Pisers. Jesse, can you tell me what UMKC students like about Dining Services? Absolutely. I think variety and convenience is the first thing. We have 11 locations across campus, so there's a place for everybody. And then nutrition. We have nutrition in every meal and a diet that meets everybody's need. Finally, value. You get a lot of bang for your buck at every Dining Services location. That sounds great. And any advice for new students? Definitely. Go to umkc.edu slash food service and you can get all your questions answered. I'm here at the 4825 Truce Building with Director Marita Barkas. Marita, could you tell us what you do here? Yes, I'm the Director of the Counseling, Health, Testing, and Disabilities Service. We offer a wide range of services for the physical and emotional needs of our students, and we also offer accommodations for students with disabilities, and we offer a wide range of assessment services. Wow, that sounds perfect, and I bet you could go in a lot more detail with that. If there was one thing you could tell the incoming class to encourage them to come see you, what would you tell them? I'd say check us out on the website and come early for your concerns. We're here to help you in any way we can. All right, everyone, I'm here with Assistant Vice Chancellor Paris Saunders. Paris, just tell the students a little bit about yourself. Hey, Mike, again, my name is Paris Saunders, and I provide leadership for student auxiliary service. I actually have one of the greatest jobs on campus, and they'll provide campus housing, campus dining, your campus recreation, student recreation, and your new student union. Awesome. Um, any advice for incoming students? Well, the advice that I have for students is you really take advantage of all the resources that are here and available to you. Get to know your fellow students, your fellow faculty, your fellow administrators. There's a lot of resources available here for, for you to succeed, so really take advantage of that. 
at Swinney Recreation Center with the director, Marsha Pirtle. Marsha, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. I just have a few questions for you. First of all, what do you provide students here at Swinney? Well, the building itself houses uh, five basketball courts, four racquetball courts, a squash court, aerobic room, fitness center. Plus, we have a variety of programs, aerobic programs, and our intramural sports program. Wow, that's a lot. And then also, if you could give one piece of advice to incoming class to UMKC, what would you tell them? I would tell them to come and see us, to use the building, the facility that we offer, participate in the programs, they'll meet friends, they'll stay healthy. We love to see kids in this building. I am outside with Glenn Jacobs, director of the Center for Academic Development. Glenn, can you tell us what you guys do here? Yes, at the Center for Academic Development, we help students to be academically more successful. We provide services such as supplemental instruction, the coaching program, as well as the Math and Science Resource Center. That is really awesome. And if you can give a tip to any new student, what would that be? We would advise students to make use of our services as soon as they run into academic difficulties and not to wait too long during the semester. All right, thank you, Glenn. All right, I'm here at the Women's Center with Director Brenda Bethman. Brenda, what is the mission of the Women's Center? The mission of the Women's Center is to advocate, educate, and provide support services for the advancement of women's equity on campus and in the community. Wow, that sounds amazing. And if there was one tip that you could give the incoming class, what would that be? We have great resources and programs for men as well as women, and we've got great comfy couches, computers, and coffee so you can hang out between classes. Wow, I'm there. Thank you so much for your time, Brenda. Now we're in the third floor of the Admin Center with the two Assistant Dean of Students, Jeff Traeger and Eric Grosbich. Guys, can you tell us what your role is on campus? I have the great opportunity to work with our residential life options on campus, including uh, the LEED certified Johnson yeah. Residence Halls, Oak Place Apartments, as well as Oak Street Residence Halls, and the third floor of the Student Union um, with the Student Involvement Office. Most times you can find me down at Hospital Hill in the New Health Science Building where I help bring the student yeah. services from the Volcker campus down to the Hospital Hill campus. When I'm here in the Administrative Center, I'm here helping administer the Student Conduct Code. Awesome. Um, do you guys have any advice for incoming students? Really encourage you to get involved. There's a lot of great opportunities on campus with the Student Involvement Office. Choose one of the student organizations available on campus and find your home here at UMKC. I think one thing I think students can do to help themselves is to seek out help whenever they need that and if it's a simple question they can call the helpline in the Vice Chancellor Student Affairs Office or they can always contact their faculty members if they need help with their academics. All right, thanks guys. I'm sitting here with Angie Cottrell, Director of Student Involvement. Angie, we all know how important it is to get involved your first year. What kind of activities does UMKC offer? We have over 200 different student organizations on campus, so you can get involved in our fraternities and our sororities, to our activity and programming council, even be a senator on our student government association. Wow, that's awesome. And to get a full list of all those organizations, those are all on our website. Also, if there was one piece of advice you could give the incoming class, what would that be? I would say never be afraid to try something new. It's really a great time to reinvent yourself when you come to UMKC. Wise words, get involved. Let's go find Brad. <laughs> I'm with a very special person. Can you tell us what your name and title is? Sure. I'm every student's best friend. My name is Jan Brando, and I'm the Director of Financial Aid and Scholarships. That's awesome. Um, can you tell us what the Financial Aid Office can do for new UMKC students? We help them find resources to pay for school. We manage all the federal, state, and institutional aid programs. And we encourage students to contact us anytime. They can email us, they can walk in, and they can give us a call. I'm here at the Registration and Records Office with Director Doug Swink. Doug, could you tell us what you do here in your office? Sure, Diane, I'd be happy to. Um, the Registration and Records Office is responsible for providing students with a lot of online tools. Yeah. One of those is our Pathway System, which provides a 24-7 environment, access to their records in terms of being able to register, or verify their information in the system. We also provide an online degree audit, a lot of other online tools that really help the students understand what is expected of them, what they need to do here at the university. Well, that sounds really important. And Doug, if you could give one piece of advice to an incoming student, what would that be? I think the one thing I would tell students is to really connect with their advisor. Their advisor is going to be there to help them pick their classes, um, keep them on progress towards their degree completion, and overall just be a support mechanism for them while they're here at the university. I'm back in the third floor of the Admin Center with someone that you'll probably need to know here on campus. Can you tell us your name and what your title is? 
Hi, I'm Jennifer D. Hamers, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Enrollment Management. I work in the Division of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. Wow, long title. Can you tell the students what that means? It really just means that I provide some leadership and direction and work with the offices of admissions, financial aid and scholarships, the records and registration office, the International Student Affairs office, and the Women's Center. Any advice for new incoming students? Sure, I would tell students that UMKC is different from where you've been, whether that was high school, a community college, or some other four-year institution. So try to get to know us and also uh, let us get a chance to know you. Hey guys, I'm here at one of my favorite places, the UMKC Bookstore, with director Pete Eisenschager. Pete, obviously you sell books here, but what else do you have to offer for the students? A couple of the main things that students really like about the bookstore is obviously used textbooks, uh, the yeah. room merchandise, and technology are the three most popular areas for the students. Perfect, and if there was one thing you could tell the incoming class, one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, the biggest piece of advice I'd give students is obviously shop textbooks early and participate in used textbook programs. I completely agree with you. Well, from one German to the other, danke schön. Thank you. I'm here with Kristen Abel, who is the Associate Director of Residential Life here at UMKC. Kristen, can you tell us some more programs and services that Residential Life provides for students? Absolutely. We have a number of students who choose to live on campus in our three facilities. Our closeness to campus is a great feature, especially with the new student union right here. Awesome. Any advice you can give to incoming students? Definitely get to know all the services that are here to support you. It'll make your first year go by great. That's it for us. We had a great time introducing you to your UMKC directors. And as you can tell, they're all here to help you have a great college experience. If you need to get in touch with any of them, just log on to the Student Affairs and Enrollment Management website for further information. Hope to see you around campus. Go Roos!